How's it going, guys? Welcome back to CMake. This is episode six of basically how to use CMake. Now, uh, take note that I'm running on Linux. Uh, you might, you probably already know that if you've seen the previous versions. But now I'm going to talk about installing your actual software. So you build software, it does a little thing, and now you want people to just be able to use it like they do any other software, rather than having to go to your directory, build it, and use your all special run commands and stuff. They, they just want to be able to use it like they would any other software. So that, that's pretty standard. Uh, so we're looking at installing here. Now installing is uh, actually quite simple. So we're gonna, as usual, open up Visual Studio Code here. You can use whatever you want. Uh, I'm just keeping it simple that way. And what we're gonna do here is uh, we need to look at installing the files for our, like our main executable and for any libraries we build. So uh, we take our, well, let's start with a library. So let's look at our adder library that we've been playing around with as a demo library and look at the cmakelist.txt. And before it was just this line, and now we're just adding these lines. So we're adding install, the targets is the library name there, and the destination is where you want it to go. And live is pretty standard there. And install files, and this is the .h file because uh, you're gonna need to see that, your program's gonna need that destination include. So that's it, just those two lines on your library. And now let's go to the top level cmakelist.txt file, and we're gonna add just two lines to the bottom of that as well, and here they are. Once again, install targets your project name, uh, of course, which is going to resolve to whatever this is, it's just OLAS in our case. I'm trying to make a meme out of it here. Uh, destination bin, so bin is where this uh, runnable file goes. And then install files, and we want that config file that has our version and, and library stuff. And we are using project binary dir slash elasticpick.h. So that's where we're, and we're putting quotes around that. Uh, I think it's it'll probably work without it, but since this resolves to a string, we just wanna make sure and destination include on that .h file. So now what we do is we just redo our configure. And our configure, of course, is just this command in command line. Uh, these little dash d things are optional, of course, but we do need to tell where the source is and where to build to. So uh, I'm just gonna run that, and I'm doing it like so. And all that does is just run that in the command line, same as just pasted it in there. And then we want to build it again. Builds fine. And of course, previously to run it, we would have to go into the build directory and then dot slash and then this whole thing and that runs it and there we go. But now, so if I just go, let me go back here. If I just want to be able to run it from anywhere in my command line, just like so, it says not found. But if we want to run it like, like CMake does, you just type this and it runs CMake, right? So we want the same thing to happen here. That's kind of the end goal. And now that we have those install things put in here, CMake will handle that for us. All we have to do, actually, I think it's already done it. Uh, now, a tricky thing, it depends on your version of CMake here. So let me just real quick before I, let's, let's look at our CMake version. Because one of the things I was noticing is, well, I'll just paste this in here. I guess that will make it easy. Okay, so this is what it says. Oh, there's no word wrapping. I'll just return a few times. I know this is really ghetto. Okay, run the CMake executable or CMake GUI to configure and build it with your chosen build tool. So we did that, right? And it says run the install step by using the install option in the CMake command, which was introduced in 3.15. But as you can see, we're using CMake 3.13, so that's not gonna work for us. So if you're using 3.15, you can do it with the install option on the CMake command. There's more about that all over their website. Here's a quick look at it. It's basically this, some stuff here. But, so we're gonna do it the optional way of, uh, 
or it says or build the install from your IDE. This will install the appropriate header files, libraries, executables. So we have to do it with make install instead is basically the point. Yeah, we, we're going to have to run make install. So whereas before when we ran like to build it, where's our build here? We just change directory to out build and then run make and that, that builds it. But if we run make install, that'll copy the files to where we want them to go. But we don't want to do that on the build necessarily. So I just made another sh file for that. Just goes to that directory and runs make install. So let's go ahead and do that. So uh, just a quick example before, this doesn't work. But if we run that install now, oops, install.sh that I created, already ch modded it and everything, it does this. Uh, it does build it first of all. It's already built, it's fine. Then it says install configuration. There's no install config. We didn't add anything special. Now we, what we get here is a CMake error at CMake install 47 file install cannot copy file and this is our executable out build the last two user bin olas it cannot copy it right cannot so if we try to run it it says still not found so basically what we got to do is we just have to sudo uh, before running this command and then it seems to do it okay so it installs it successful in that we we still have an error here i couldn't figure this out so maybe I'll leave this to the comments if someone can figure this out. Bonus points, I'll give you a, I'll give you a heart, whatever. All that good stuff. So at the CMake install cannot inst file install cannot find this olasconfig.h. I'm not sure why it can't find this. It should be able to find this. It's there because if we go to out build, it's right there. So I'm a little confused as to why. Oh, I spelled it wrong. I'm a noob. Never mind, no heart for you. I figured it out already. So uh, I bet in here, yeah, we just put an extra C in here, like a, like a total noob. So now we should be able to do it. And uh, we'll have to super user, of course. And there we go. Now it seems happy. It gives us the whole thing. Installing, installing, it put, it, put in the GLFW stuff that we wanted because that's what we require and all our other libraries, they're all installed. So now, it doesn't matter where we are, I'll just change directory to my root home here. Anytime we just type this in the command line, it just runs our app. So you can do that with any of your apps. You can just get them installed, or if you're giving it to a buddy or whatever, they can just install it, and then it just you can just run it like a normal app, like you could anything else, like you could CMake, like you could uh, awk or anything, you just type it in the command line. Uh, so that's how you do it. And also, I should note, if you're, uh, let's see, I'll bring this over while I talk about it real quick. This installs to user local on Unix and C program files and project name on Windows. So, there you go. On Windows, goes right to your program files, Unix, use it local, this doesn't talk about Mac. Don't know why, but I'm sure it goes to the default location there. So just real quick, let's uh, let's change directory a little bit, go back a few, and we can now go, you know, we're, we're deep on the Unix stuff. We'll go to user local where it said, and we'll check that out. And we see bin, we see live, we see include. So we can look at those. If we look at our bin, for example, we'll see that it now has uh, that file there. And same with the others. Oops. So let's just take a look at include and see what we got there. And we got our adder, we got the GLFW stuff that it required, and we got the we got that as well. And we can also look at our live, and we should see all the lives that we installed. Some of these were already here from other stuff, but there's our live adder, there's our live GLFW3. So it just, that's how it just finds it when you run it. It just has them ready to go there. So I think that is it. I'm not sure if I missed anything or not. Uh, let me know down below if you get confused. Uh, super quick recap. There's that. There's that one in our lib. And you just, of course, do configure and build as before. And then you just run the install at the 
at the end to get that install going. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.